Hello and welcome to my Wednesday vlog. Today we are in a horror map called Slender's uh, Creepers? Slender Creepers? I think I can't remember what it's called. Um, and yeah, I was actually had slowness on me, but I drank some milk because I'm not playing this as an adventure map, but just as an atmospheric map. So I apologize to whoever made the map that I'm already breaking your rules. Today we will be talking about s a scary game. That's why we're here. We're going to be. I'm going to be re uh, reviewing Fear, the first Fear game. And I'm gonna talk about some scary movies. And last time I talked about scary movies, I talked about scary non-Asian movies. Today we will be talking about scary Asian horror movies. That's right. But first, let's review Fear. Let's uh, walk around in this scary map. I don't know, it's Minecraft. I'm not turned off monsters, so it's not really that scary. Looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Fear, I loved Fear. It's an amazing game, really incredible game. Um, both as a traditional first-person shooter, but also as a scary game. For those of you who don't know Fear, it's about a... You're a part of a special unit. It's actually called Fear. I can't remember what the, the initials stands for, but it's... It's a special unit taking care of, I think it's paranormal activity. And uh, you're supposed to find a guy that is a, a serial killer that has some supernatural abilities. And you are hunting him down. But meanwhile, weird things are happening. You're You're fighting against human enemies as well as some weird entity and that's what really makes the game scary and I actually think this game was scary as a big wall right here and I normally don't get scared by games it wasn't really scared scared but more of a kinda what the fuck is going on here scared and that's where the game really shines it's not it, it, isn't, it doesn't rely on jump scares you will get jump scares but not more than you would in any other uh, first-person shooter when an enemy suddenly appears start shooting at you. No, what really makes this game scary is the fact that weird th shit is happening around you meanwhile you ha while you have to concentrate on killing the bad guys. That's what making the that what that is what making the game really I maybe not scary, eerie? Is that a better word for it? Creepy, I guess, would be a great word for it as well. As well, I'm sorry, I just ate some peanuts. I shouldn't have eaten so eaten some peanuts, but I did. I'm gonna take this. Wait, I'm in creative mode. Sorry, I did not know. Uh, <laughs> never mind. But uh, yeah, um, the game really focuses a lot on on the scary part and but also um, a lot on the the paranormal things the storytelling in the game is really really awesome without actually relying on cutscenes without it's it's all in game and that's what make the game great there are a couple of cutscenes and those are amazing as well the graphics is really really great for its time and i th I, i'd say that it's still great even though it's the game is a little outdated. I can't remember when the game is actually from. I think it's from 2000 and oh and something. I <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, I actually have no idea when the game is from. Uh, some really really great weapons. There's some. I love the. There's kind of like a. I guess it's kind of a railgun that shoots out this very. This sharp metal spike at a very, very high speed, impaling the enemies, and it's really awesome. Really, really, really cool weapon. And you have a ability to slow down time as well, which is supposed to be... I think it's supposed to be sort of like reflexes. Your, re your reflexes that slows down time, if that makes sense. But it's... 
the 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 balance between the gameplay, uh, the first person shooter gameplay, and uh, the the horror parts is actually extremely well done. Now I have completed the game, but I'm actually uh, thinking about uh, playing it for my channel as well. Uh, for two reasons: one, it's an amazing game, and two, I am planning on playing uh, the sequel. I have played some of Fear Two, but not uh, the whole game. So I'm thinking about uh, completing it for, uh, on my as a video for my channel. But I'm I actually want to do Fear One first because they are kind of linked together. I mean, Far Cry Two and Far Cry One isn't really that linked together, so. That isn't really... I didn't have to play Far Cry 1 to play Far Cry 2. I might have had to play... You know, I probably should have played Alice, the first Alice games. I'm playing Alice in Madness Returns right now, if in case you didn't know. And I probably should have played the first one, but uh, I actually don't own the first one anymore. I it wasn't. It's only a couple of years since I got rid of it. Not got rid of it. I sold it. And... That was before I actually started kind of collecting the games. So if you, I've, I've I've had games like since I was a child, but recent years I've been kind of buying games and selling them again. But uh, and now, but now I'm actually not doing it. So I pr probably will buy Alice, uh, the first Alice game, once at some time, at uh, some point in time again. But uh, yeah, I thinking about playing Fear One. So let me know what you think about it, and I, I probably will even, uh, even no matter what your answer is. So I hope your answer is that you like me to, s to see me play Fear One. Um, scary movies, scary Asian movies. I love Asian horror movies. If you saw my Amnesia review, I talked a little bit about Asian horror movies. Excuse me. <coughs> Peanuts. Um, but yeah, Asian horror movies really has a feel to them that American and British and French and whatever, non-Asian horror movie doesn't have. Asian horror movies relies much more on the what the fuck is going on and did that just happen oh, and am I seeing this? Those kind of factors rather than oh my god that's disgusting or oh shit. You know, the jump scares. <laughs> wow, I'm good at describing things with very few words. <laughs> or maybe I'm not. Uh, but yeah, it relies on more on the visuals and the eerie and creepy atmosphere in the games. So I'm going to talk about those kind of ge games? Movies, sorry. Talk about those kind of movies. And I'm going to do from different countries because most people when they think of Asian horror movies they think mostly of Japan but there are actually a lot of other horror movies from other countries but let's start with Japan and talk about a classic the movie that is said to have started the whole Asian horror movie craze if you will and that is of course The Ring or Ringo as it is originally called the ring is actually a part of a. Uh, I was about to say trilogy, but there's four movies. I don't know what what the hell is a f trilogy with four movies called? A quadruple, quell, quadruple, quad, quad. I don't know, but f part of four movies. But I'd say I only seen the first three of them. But I would say the first one is the only really scary one, and definitely. By far the best. For those of you who don't know the story, the story of the ring, or Ringo, is that a videotape is circling around, a VHS, VHS tape is circling around uh, between people, and if people see it, they have seven days to live, unless they uh, show the tape to someone else. And that is a pretty interesting story, and the game is... Uh, the game? Sorry, the movie is amazingly done. Very, very minimalistic, in my opinion, but that's what makes it really eerie. The, it's extremely great done, and scary as hell, in my opinion. Now, as I said, there were a couple of sequels to it. 
the the first sequel called Rasen or Rasen, I don't know what the, how to pronounce it, was really horrible. It it kind of just created an entire new story. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it because that would spoil uh, the first. I'm not, no, I'm not gonna talk about it much because it, it'll bring a lot of spoilers for the first one. But the the the, the, the first sequel was kind of horrible, and I think actually when they maxed the ne made the next single sequel. Ringo 2, the Ring 2, they actually kind of just ignored Ryzen, which is good. But they never really captured the same uh, atmosphere that was in the first movie. And the Ring was uh, remade as an American version starring uh, Naomi Watts, but the remake really didn't. They tried to make it fit in, uh, in the US rather than in in Japan and I don't know it it wasn't as scary the the acting was kind of weird the, the 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 guy who played the, the the boy well technically that played the kid was just horrible no offense kid but you your acting was terrible and I don't know it, it and it may be before because I saw the original but still the movie just didn't work with the American style. Now, let's move on to the next country, which is Hong Kong. And yes, in m the movie business, Hong Kong is considered a separate uh, country due to its um, unique style in movies, which is not uh, shared with mainland China. So, Hong Kong has produced a lot of great horror movies as well. One of the best, in my opinion, is probably The Eye. The Eye, or Ging Guai, Ging, I think Ging Guai, Ging Guai, I don't know how to pronounce it, is all, it's a part of a trilogy, but it's only the first one that is truly scary. It's about a woman who is, has become blind and gets, and then gets eye surgery, but when she regains her sight, she begins to see things, she begins to see dead people she began to begins to see things that uh, have not happened yet and stuff like that and it really it's really creepy because you do she doesn't really you don't know what's real and what she's actually seeing and it's and really the the, the people she see not only are they it's creepy that she sees them but their stories their uh, the reasons why they have not moved on the things they do it's it's once again one of those, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Is this really happening in this movie? Rather than jump scares and this and blood and gore, which is so much better. Like I said, there was a couple of sequels as part of a trilogy. The second movie was... Uh, they tried to kind of recreate the horror. Not the, They tried with a new story, but it didn't really work. The, the third one, however, was they kind of went for a more humoristic... Uh, uh, approach They're trying to make it kind of funny and that actually worked in a way but still the first one the best and like so many other Asian horror movies there were there's an American version the eye staring Je starring Jessica Alba and I must I was I will gladly admit I've seen some movies with Jessica Alba where she played but played d pretty well Dark Angel was a great movie, and I liked her in some of her roles as more of the loose, airhead, bubble girl kind of thing. But when she, but playing serious, that just don't work, especially not in The Eye. And I think actually The Eye was made by the same people who made it originally. It just didn't work out. They changed a lot of the movie. They actually, some of the more scary parts they took out and it became they sugarcoated it way too much and that's where it really failed now moving on to South Korea South Korea is actually one of my favorite country when it comes to making movies because the I don't know I just seen so many amazing movies from South Korea and the movies I'm gonna talk about is actually a series of movies called Whispering Corridors. Whispering Corridors is actually uh, said to be the the real movie that started the whole 
horror movie, Asian horror movie craze. Um, the first Whispering Corridors came out around a couple of months, maybe even a half a year, before The Ring. Although, I would still say that it was The Ring that really truly got it started, because not many people know the Whispering Corridors movies, unfortunately, because they are amazing. I've only seen the, fir the first three of them, I think there's five, but uh, the, the movies uh, are all set around uh, boarding schools, and all of them have some kind of either hate motive, or revenge, or jealousy, or stuff like that. Where someone dies, and someone has to pay, and stuff like that, and they are really amazing. And the co really, really great thing about it is that not only are they scary as hell, they also really tell a an ama amazing stories. The non-scary parts is just as interesting as the scary parts. A lot of the movies, especially the, se the, the number two movie, uh, Memento Mori, uh, they, they could actually g work without the scares as well. Although, I think with the scares, they are perfect, the, the way they are. Uh, but the storytelling, the different characters are really getting well, being well done in these movies. And if you haven't seen any of them, I would recommend them tr really, truly, very much. Uh, especially, like I said, Memento Mori, which is the sequel, and Whispering Corridor, no, I mean The Wishing Stairs, which is the third one. Uh, the first one is amazing as well, but especially the second and third movie, um, I still haven't seen the fourth and fifth. I think that's five, but I will, because that's an amazing series. Luckily... They have not been remade, and I hope they never will, because no one can do it as good as whoever did them, the South Koreans, I guess. Um, moving on to the almost the last country, the second to last country, which in this time we're going to Thailand. Thailand is very known, well known for the horror movies, especially the more gory kind. But the one I'm gonna talk about is not that gory. It is a classic. It is Shudder. And this movie, people have probably heard about this, if not the American remake. But we're gonna we'll come to that in just a brief moment. There's not much sound in this video. Oh yeah, creative. Forgot. <laughs> um. This is actually a nice map. I think uh, it would probably be very scary uh, if I played this. Uh, it's a horror map. But, um, yeah. Uh, Shudder is a movie about a photographer and his wife or girlfriend. I can't remember if they're actually married. Ooh, there's a cave here. Oh, uh, scary music. I'm leaving. Oh, cover. I mean, iron. <laughs> there isn't cover in this game. But, but yeah, it's about a photographer and his wife slash girlfriend, don't know what, um, who accident who. Uh, uh, can't even remember the story. I think they accidentally hit somebody, but the person disappears or something, and they, they really don't know what's happening. But then uh, suddenly, uh, a weird image starts to show up in all the 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 man's uh, the, the photographer's photographs all his pictures and uh, weird image and it's beginning to be at first you think it's like an, a, a mistake of an error on the the film but it turns out more and more he realizes that this is actually something that is there in the photos and it's a really amazing horror movie now the american remake starring joshua jackson <laughs> Joshua Jackson. Sorry, I pronounced that weird. And I actually do like Joshua Jackson in a lot of things. One Week is a great movie starring him, and Fringe is a great series starring him. But he, but this movie, I don't know if it hits him or the movie, but it is not good. Uh, the weird thing about it is, instead of uh, trying to make it work in the U.S., they still have it in Asia. I don't even think it's in Thailand. I, maybe it is. I can't remember. But, anyway, it just doesn't work. Uh, the movie isn't scary, and once again, it might be because I've already seen the original Thailand, Thai, Thai version. But, it's really, 
keep to the originals. That's kind of what I want to say about this. If you want to watch an Asian horror movie, watch the original. Well, I guess it's not Asian if you... You know what I mean. The last country and last movie I'm going to talk about is from th Taiwan. And uh, this movie is actually not easy to find information about. Well, it is. Kind of. It's called Silk. And before I get into what it's about, I'm going to... If you, s I'm gonna say this. If you search for Silk on IMDb, this movie will not show up. If you go into Advanced Search and try type in Silk and make it search for Taiwan, it will not show up. I had to search for Taiwanese, uh, I think that's what it's called, horror movies to find it. I couldn't. So that's kind of weird because it is named. Well. I mean, it, the original title is not Silk, but it is an alternate title. The It's the international title, and normally things do show up when you search for it. So that's kind of weird, but it, it does exist, believe me, I've seen it. Uh, it's about a man who finds a way to trap ghosts inside a weird machine. And this is, it's an amazing movie. It's kind of like a sci-fi horror detective story, kind of. It's a weird movie, but it's amazing. And the reason it's called Silk is because the ghosts, when they kind of they kind of wander, and when they wander around, they leave a trail of silk-like threads. And it's it's an amazing movie. It, it really hasn't become that well known, and w that could be a good thing because maybe they won't remake it then. Hopefully not. But yeah, I think that's it. Let's just um, sum up. Uh, Fear, amazing game. Great, great horror game. Game, great first-person shooter. All in all, great game, uh, which I might be playing here on this channel. And the horror movies, Asian horror movies, which I recommend. The Ring, the uh, the first one that is, the original. The Eye, from Hong Kong. The Whispering Corridor series from South Korea. Uh, <coughs> sorry, Shudder from Thailand and Silk from Taiwan. All really amazing horror movies, and I could talk more about this, and I probably will at some other time. Um, I will be leaving a link to my uh, movie recommendation list. I, th I think it's the best way of describing it on IMDb so you can go there and uh, get some inspiration for movies it's, I haven't written anything about the different movies I've just suggestions of what I think is some of the best movies ever made and uh, please leave a comment on that list if you if you like it and if you if you watch some of the movie and want to say oh yeah I totally agree with you this one or yeah I don't really agree with this one but just be nice. If you don't agree with my list, don't say, oh, you're an idiot. Uh, because that just makes you the idiot. Anyway, I'm going to leave now. <laughs> and I'll see you next time for more vlogging. And I'll see you tomorrow for more gaming. Bye.